everybody today I'm gonna teach you how to make a bracelet pin cushion so stick around and find out how to do it so you're gonna need some spray paint and then I just used the lid of a jar I bought this at Target I bought a 10 pack of the lids I already have jars this size so I just figured I'd have some replacement lids with the rest of the pack and spray your lid with whatever spray paint you have bought I chose sparkly gold and then I have this gold bracelet that I'm using and I kind of wanted to just bring the same texture and color throughout so I sprayed it as well let it dry and do as many coats as you need to to get it all I did three coats on all of it now put your glue on I'm using e6000 this is kind of just the best industrial grade glue that I have used. I've used a couple different brands and this one's just the best. And I got the little packages because sometimes the lid will stick on after you use it. So I figure I wasn't going to waste any glue this time. So put it on your bracelet. Then put your lid on top and I put mine slightly to the side so that my hinge spring would still work and also so that it was kind of on the side of my wrist when I used it because you're gonna be reaching over and I just thought it made sense. So now that I've made sure it's all still gonna function properly, I'm going to put my clamp on it. And then you're gonna let this cure for 24 hours minimum. You can do 72 hours if you're concerned. I did 24, but seriously, don't touch this thing for 24 hours. Now we are going to make the cushion part of it. So I have this scrap fabric left over from another project I did. So I'm just gonna lay them both out. I've got a layer of lining basically, it's just white cotton, and then my printed, and then steel wool. This is going to be our middle main stuffing. It's gonna help sharpen our pins as we push them in and out. So cut out a large circle around your steel wool. You just want to make sure that it's going to cover all the sides of your steel wool. So it is a cover, obviously. And my fabric was super wrinkled. So I just sprayed it with some water and then threw it in the dryer for a minute. Now I'm going to take that fabric and my pinking shears and I'm just going to pink all of the edges if you will and just make sure that your edges won't fray and it doesn't require to get my sewing machine out so put them on top of each other and then get a really long piece of thread on your needle and thread and do a loose stitch around and that's going to help us gather it into the cover shape for our cushion so do that all the way around and just kind of keep pulling it and gathering it as you go and then stick your steel wool in there. And then I just have some stuffing left over from one of my dog's toys that she destroyed. And I'm just gonna put it in the edges to just kind of bulk it up a little more and give it some shape. Now just close up all your edges. Just take your needle and thread and gather it all at the middle. And once you have it all the shape you want and all closed up as much as you want, then just notch your thread. Snip your thread and then I made mine into a perfect ball and realized I didn't really like how that was gonna look on the finished bracelet so I flattened it out. So it's kinda like a pizza pie. 
Now take your E6000 again, put it on the top, and remember we have cured the bracelet for 24 hours at this point. Now put the cushion on top of the glue and use your clamps and clamp that cushion down. Use as many clamps as necessary and again let it cure for a minimum of 24 hours. So here it is, our final product. Our nice and stable industrial glued bracelet pin cushion. And since we use the can lid for the base, there is no fear of stabbing yourself, which is great. And since we use the steel wool, it sharpens your pins as you go. So you're not doling them out all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.